I can't wait for it to start and so hipped for the update. Here we go. Hello everybody, welcome to another dev blog. This one I am in particular very excited to show off today. Um, we're going to be showing off as per the title SCP-2006. Our developer Cornosius has been working very hard on this SCP for the last month and a half or so. And I think personally this is one of the coolest SCPs I've ever seen on Roblox. So. I am very much looking Can't wait to, to see it. Everybody today. So there's SCP-2006 in the corner. We have made SCP-2006 much more appropriate for lore. So as of right now, I'm just going to go over some beginning mechanics. So SCP-2006 is currently in his calm state. Uh, same monkey form as last time. He has much better wandering now. He actually wanders properly. He'll avoid walls and you know things so you won't just slam up against awesome. the rain. He'll actively chase players who are close by and within line of sight. Um, he will do emotes and idols occasionally as you can see. When we shoot him, he is going to laugh at us. Seems he's like a cool feature. feature. He thinks being shot is very funny. He'll also approach players to attempt to scare them. You can also lead him around with a rope, as per normal. Leading is an SCD. Whoa. Take him up with the rope, drag him around. You can take him off the rope. So we are going to let our funny 035 man out of the cell. So what I'm going to begin now showing off is some of the cross-testing capabilities. This is Chrono, by the way, the, uh, the developer who actually made SCP-2006. So what he's going to do now is showcase a new scaring animation mimicking ability. Mimicking? As you can see, SCP-2006 is observing 035. Whoa! And he is now transformed, and he is going to come and chase me to kill me. As you can Still see, the I decay know. kill. So in the 035 forms, by the way, you can do both comedy and tragedy variants on 2006. So they will change based on what type of mask the person is wearing. Go. Yep. SCP-2006 will detransform after taking enough cool damage. animation. So instead of it just being an immortal form that you have no, no chance but to avoid, um, his monster forms can actually be subdued to make him go back into his passive state. Seems angry. cool. If I stay around too long, so we're just gonna walk away from him so he doesn't get pissed and transform on us. Okay, I'm gonna show another cross test here. We have SCP-008. Chrono is also demonstrating for us as well. Oh, SCP-2006 is already observing 008 here. He looks so goofy. Oh, he's now a big zombie. He's transformed into a large class D zombie, as you can see. And he is going to infect us when he gets close to us. And we have begun the process of... I can already effect. tell this is going to be really strong. Now we are a normal 008 zombie. He will continue to go around and infect people as 008. As you can see, when you're a zombie, you can only say uh, things like bra. So I've showed off 0 through 5 and 0 through 8. I had to show these ones off first because um, these ones require a human, you know, a subject. Like I need another person here to show those ones off. Um, so I'm going to go over the rest of everything now. There's still more to show off. So there are multiple SCPs that um, 2006 can be currently influenced by. The current ones that we have made are 017. 457, 035, and 008. So, I've made this testing arena for testing purposes, but we have 035. 
and sorry, I mean, uh, 017 and 457 are locked up here currently. So I'm going to current bring them out of containment. I can show you the transformations. Okay. This is going to be so cool. 2006 is now observing SCP-017. Going to begin his transformation. Whoa, purple. purple. It looks sick. SCP-017. A larger and more dangerous variant. And the same as before, SCP-2006 will revert when uh, he's taken enough damage. So we're going to give him a couple of pop shots here. Give him four nine. All his health and his speeds and animations and everything. These are all just placeholder for now. Just for testing purposes. Some of the animations are not completed yet either. So some animations might be default Roblox ones just as a placeholder. Continue to shoot him until he transforms. There we go. Turn back into normal monkey mode. Okay, that's 017's form. Um, I didn't show the death animation, but all of his transformations will inflict the same um, death effects as their normal counterparts. So if the uh, 017 version of 2006 touches you, you'll just disintegrate the same as normal 017. I wonder if you disintegrate into purple. This is like his radius zone, by the way, for his scaring. If you're within that radius after he becomes raged, as you can see, he has a 33% That's a cool feature, actually. So now he is in his clown form. He's going to whack us with his mallet. And he spritzes us with his water gun while also falling Whoa, over. that's sick mallet and a water gun which my trips you. My sprint is currently not working because I messed with my uh, themes and respawning. But as you can see, he's going to pummel me over and over. He's going to keep spritzing me with water too to make me fall over. All of the different forms have their own special abilities and effects. I like how they are all different now. He hammer and he spritzes you with water to make you fall over. The purpose of this picture is to basically uh, induce a specific transformation. So we have, in terms of the normal non-SCP transformations, That's we have so some cool. of the similar ones from before. We have Jason, um, the clown form, we have Frankenstein, and we have a ghost as well. Uh, subject adding more forms in the future, but Two now, new forms, Frankenstein and Ghost. And five mimicry transformations. I'm only going to be showing off four of the mimicry transformations because the fifth one is actually a secret. Okay, so now we are going to bring SCP-457. Can't wait to find out what it is. Let's bring Mr. 457 now. SCP-2006 is now interested. He's going to observe in the transformation process blue fire and he's turned Whoa. into a large blue version of scp-457 who is also quite fast this speed is not he's not going to remain this fast 2006 version of 457 can grow and shrink just like the normal 457 can and he glows a dark blue fire instead of a, a red fire indicating that he is indeed of a hotter temperature and if we get close to him he doesn't spit fire like the normal 457 he'll just uh kill you upon contact i'm now going to show off the other forms we're gonna show off the frankenstein form real quick so i'm gonna come up to him bring the picture to him i'm gonna show him the picture he's going to analyze it awesome animation now he's gonna turn into frankenstein frankenstein's ability is he shoots lightning and punches so oh, he's gonna zap you with lightning as he chases Another you. goofy look but cool abilities. Also punch you. Most of the range effects only happen when you're a significant distance away. If he's within like melee distance, he will only attempt a punch. I'm going to bring up another photo now. We're gonna show off the ghost form. Here's ghost. Come here 2006. We got a picture to show you. Come back into the middle. And if he attempts to scare you, if you're still within this bubble after the first attempt, he will get mad, but if you leave, he'll just laugh. There's a 33% chance upon him doing that, that he'll rage and transform. Show him a picture of the ghosts. Come here. Don't walk away from me. You little crap. Come here. I can't run. 
go. We'll give him the picture of the ghost. He's going to begin another transformation here. Going to attempt to suck out our soul progressively. This has got to be my favorite. This is a ghost main ability. Kind of sucks out your soul and gets close to you. There's a fifth form, but it is secret. We show it off later. As you can see his antenna here, if they are yellow, that means he's currently on transformation cooldown. That means he cannot rage, get mad, or transform again. But see, now that it's back to blue, his ends, his tips are back to blue now. That means he can begin the process of scaring people again. That's so, so cool. There's three different ways SCP-2006 can transform, as I have shown. He can transform when you're in his radius and you do not, like, leave. Oh, there he goes. Let's see what he decided. He turns into Jason. Good. That that's animation was so sick. Now, Jason will throw knives. He's going to throw a knife into my back. And if he gets close, he'll slash us with his machete. That's Jason's form. All forms, as you can see, have different attacks and different special abilities. We are going to be releasing this update in two parts, by the way, just so everybody is aware. We're going to be releasing Tram and SCP-2006 and a couple other things um, first because medical is not currently in a state um, that is done. Uh, and to prevent the update from like coming out in one or two weeks, we just rather release the update in two parts so you guys can get um, the Tram in 2006 and everything else first so you guys aren't waiting forever to get everything. We wanted to finish in July, but a lot of stuff came up. A lot of devs have been on vacation or sick and um so the, the timeline just hasn't lined up for how we wanted it but medical is progressing very good probably only i'd say a maximum of two more weeks to finish medical i'd say middle of july it'll have to be thoroughly qa tested so if everything goes well you guys can expect to have the update out probably like very beginning of july like i said great I'll take my word on that. The updates come out when we deem them ready and appropriate for release. We have to do lots of bug testing and fixing if when the bugs do inevitably appear. I know we had said July, but you know, things came up and just wasn't not possible to get a July release for this update, so I apologize for that. Okay, so here we are. New S C D doors. We are going to be releasing the update in two parts. First part will contain the major performance improvements we've been working on with the 173 and the other scripts that we've optimized lag and servers should actually be reduced by a, a decent amount because we found a couple scripts that were being very very stupid with the amount of resources that they were hogging and uh, we're currently we've patched out two of those scripts to make them much more performance friendly so hopefully server ping should go down um and when we eventually re release medical medical will also come with its own performance fixes as well so the main parts of the first part of the update will be scp 2006 the scp 173 and the tram those are kind of like the three big portions of the first part and then for the second part will pretty much primarily be medical and then anything else chrono and um shadow end up working on wait what Playable 999, this is going to be sick. Okay, so this is just the beginning process of SCP-999. It has not been finished yet. As you can see, we have Heavy from TF2 here. It's just a placeholder image. Um, but we are going to be working uh, and finishing SCP-999, probably for medical. will be done and in. Um, SCP-999, we plan on being just a small little, you know, just fun little thing for people to enjoy. Um, as a playable SCP-999, you can walk around. You have two skills that you can use. So you can use your uh, helpful cheer skill, which is just a SCP-999 like healing skill. So it will heal all the players around you in a radius. Same as normal 999. And then our shield of love skill. 
Um, I need other players to kind of show off the skills here, but when you use your Shield of Love skill, it'll make other players around you for four seconds will kind of get an orange shield on their body. It'll instantly increase all their health to max, and it will protect them from 75% of all damage sources for oh, four seconds. We're gonna be adding That's more. gonna be it so it strong. To make, it can make noise and um, doesn't have its animations currently. As you can see, it's just kind of a static blob. It doesn't like you know do its stuff and take down the health bar and stuff. But this is the beginning process of the playable SCP-999. I think it's really cute and funny. And I can fly around this SCP-999 and leave my goopy trail everywhere. We also have our medical department and stuff that I showed off last. Just making good progress on. You guys will see the new medical stuff when the update drops. None of it will be accessible. You will not be able to join the team. Hey, WW, um, that sucks. The medical center that isn't done has been closed off, but the tram area in here and everything else, this is all available to come and look at. So uh, that's all I really have to show off right now, guys. Um, when medical is in a state that I can show it off, There'll be a whole dev blog dedicated to medical and its features, which I am really excited to show off because medical has been a long time in the works and I've been looking to get it out for, I mean, not just me, but we've all been looking to get it out for a long time now. So I hope all of you have a great day. I hope you guys like this update when it drops. I hope it is bug free to the best of our ability. We're going to do good testing to make sure that doesn't happen, but. Have a good day, everyone. This is Melstead signing off. I can't wait for this update. 2006 is definitely my favorite SCP.